I love the old bridge in Mostar. The Starry Most is so special. Getting to jump right from this historical bridge is one of my favorite things to do. Hi, my name is Molly Carlson, and these are my 24 questions. Ooh, my first series dive was a front double half tuck, and it was off a little cliff in France. Terrifying, but we did okay. <laughs> I actually saw a show at Canada's Wonderland and they were jumping off a waterfall and I looked at my mom and I said, I want to do that. <laughs> By far the most dangerous cliff I dove from was in Ireland. The swells were crazy, three meters high, jellyfish everywhere, but somehow we got my first 10 there. <laughs> I love the old bridge in Mostar. The Starry Most is so special. Getting to jump right from this historical bridge is one of my favorite things to do. When I first climbed the old bridge in Mostar, I was terrified. You know, your heels are this close to the railing. They don't take it away and you have to jump with all these distractions, people walking, tourists happening, and it's really, really scary, but I loved it. Before you dive from a bridge, you really need to make sure that it's deep enough, that the height is not too high out of your comfort zone, and that you feel good um, mentally and physically. Yes, the river here is very, very cold, so it's almost a shock, but actually, the colder the water, the less splash normally, so we love it. <laughs> I do have a cliff diving role model. It's actually my boyfriend. I don't know if that's biased, but Aiden Heslop is my role model. He's so fearless up there. He can literally go up. Even if he messes up, he knows exactly where he is in the air like a cat. It's wild. <laughs> I think cliff diving is definitely on the way to becoming an Olympic sport. The more people that participate, the closer and closer we're getting to making that dream come true. I train Monday to Friday for three hours a day, half an hour of you know conditioning, warming up, and then another half an hour of flips and, and visualizations. And then we get in the water for the last bit of training and, and really do lower heights. Not a lot of high diving because we need to protect our bodies. No, the thing I hate the most about training is stretching. You can probably see it in my form, but I need to make sure my pike is way better than it is right now. We're getting there. <laughs> I do have a wish I didn't fulfill yet. I've been dreaming of going to the Olympics forever and I think promoting this sport as much as we can is, is getting us closer to that dream. I love Mostar. You walk into your hotel, everyone's on vacation basically where we are and you know, strolling through the city, everyone's so positive and they want you to do the best dive that you can do. Ooh, honestly, the kindness. I think everyone is really, really polite here and I feel really at home here. I have, honestly, delicious. <laughs> oh, we had the, they're like little meat sticks. I don't know what they're called, but they were delicious. <laughs> Probably chavapi, right? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, the tallest point I ever dove off of was 23 and a half meters. Way too high. <laughs> Before I jump, I actually try to have so many good breaths. The more I can breathe and find calmness, the better my dive will be. If I weren't a cliff diver, I would definitely be a mental health counselor. I love the mental side of athletics and yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite athlete in the world would probably be 
Simone Biles. We're gonna be classic, but she's incredible. Into TikToks, I decided to start on TikTok because I just wanted to share my truest self. I didn't really have a platform where I felt comfortable being myself and TikTok was the first place I could do that. It's not a must, but I think it upper, or shows so many opportunities. If you start promoting yourself on social media as an athlete, you can reach so many people and feel confident in yourself, but also help other people feel confident. Any newcomers joining cliff diving, welcome to the best sport ever. You're gonna love it, it's gonna be scary, but you're gonna reach a whole new level of bravery. You got this. Everyone here, thank you so much for supporting us. We love Rebel Cliff Diving and coming out here and doing our sport. It's so, so, so special. So thank you for supporting us and I can't wait to do it again.